Hello and welcome to Flashville Times. My name is Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Hey, let's just jump right in. I received a, a schedule and the schedule had a bunch of events and there was a date column and there was this kind of time column and I needed to import these dates. You know, there was maybe a hundred events. I needed to import this into my calendar app. But in order to do that, my calendar app required a time start column and a time end column formatted as, as valid times. And if this was a recurring project, I might take the time to set up some fancy formulas or I might use Power Query, but this is a one-time project. And so I wanted something that's really just fast and easy to use. And if you haven't used Flashville, I would encourage you to check it out because it is a great tool. And what it does is it tries to detect a pattern from an example and fill that pattern down. For example, I could give it the first example, 1.00 no space PM, just like, you know, just like the time value. And I can go to the data ribbon tab and I can try to flash fill that down. And beautiful, flash fill detected the pattern and filled it down. But the problem with this is this is a text value, not a time value. So I can't import this into my calendar app. What I really needed was a valid time code, so one o'clock space PM, right? And when I tried to flash fill that down, it didn't detect the pattern. And the good news about flash fill is we can give it additional information. We can give it more than a single example. So what if I give it one o'clock PM and 11 o'clock space AM? With two examples, now can flash fill figure it out? Let's try to find out. Flash fill it down and yes. That looks right, that looks right. Um, and then let's get the time end. Again, we'll go with three o'clock space PM. Let's try to flash fill it down. And it looks good, but we notice here right away that this is one o'clock PM. This is coming in as one o'clock AM. Again, it didn't quite detect the pattern that I was trying to give it. So let's just give it an additional example. One o'clock space PM. Now let's flash fill that down, and yes, I think we got it. 11 a.m., 1 p.m., 11, all these values look good, okay? So that is the beauty of flash fill. We just give it a couple of examples by typing the values. We flash fill it down, it detects the pattern, and fills it down, um, and, uh, and that can be uh, a lot quicker and easier to use than formulas or power query. So for one-time projects like this, hey, it's a great option. Uh, hope it helped. Hey, thanks, have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.